Canberra's New Lake Burley Griffin is a scene for the world's first hovercraft race. And an event like this is bound to bring a crowd. It also brought 12 entries from backyard engineers all over Australia, who've built an array of weirdly shaped craft for the race. Lord Delisle, the Governor General, is one Canberra resident who can't resist turning out to see the fun. With motors roaring to life, the fleet of hovercraft move off to the starting line. They start on land and take to the water like ducks. Their weight varies from 170 pounds to over half a ton. And making half a ton hover takes skillful construction. You never know with these strange amphibians whether they're kicking up dust or spray, but they are kicking up a lot of noise. But keep your eye on the field. Some of these hovercraft are capable of good speeds. Some are not so fast, and some are in trouble. Rescue craft are ready for an SOS, but Lance Corporal Gillies of Amberley, Queensland, is staying with his ship. He'd love to hover, but he's in bother. Nearby, some people aren't too sure whether they're hovering or just floating. That'll be up to the judges to decide. Ah, oh, here comes a speedster. Alan Hawkins is hovering past other competitors as a fast clip. And Lance Corporal Gillies, he's still down in the engine room. Other hovercraft are heading for the shore. Some of them are really putting on a flat. It still won't start, huh? Just as well there's so much noise. Victory in the world's first hovercraft race goes to Alan Hawkins, who drove his beetle-shaped machine, which cost some 300 pounds. He said it was like riding a thundercloud. Congratulations. Roy Raymond set the fastest time, and Lance Corporal Gillies, well, they gave him the prize for the most ingenious design.